Hello, welcome back to our IT Landy Nugget course. Uh, for today, we're gonna cover the GCP Google Cloud Platform. This platform is amazing for hosting application. However, for our session today, it's only overview how the portal will look like and having the feeling about what tools are the moments are offering by Google. You know, so to start with, you know. We do the high level comparison and then later on we will deep dive into these uh, sort of like you know, the topics, technologies and compare it to Microsoft, Azure and AWS. Uh, to log on to Google, you have the chance to subscribe to console.cloud.google.com and then you will get $300 uh, to spend with as a trial version they will need your uh, credit card to validate your identity. So don't be scared, you should be able to subscribe. And when you subscribe, you got that 300 to spend for 12 months. So you can create your own project and you can play with the tools, making your self familiar and then crack on. So after you log on first time, on the left hand side, you'll see this is our channels, IT Landy with Google. And then you go the settings and utilities, you go the notification, and then you have the help and then you go the feedback if you want to send feedback plus you go the shell activate the cloud shell okay on the left hand side you got the navigation menu drop down list and then you have the home marketplace billing api services dashboard library credential identity support giving uh, overview cases you can call support community and you can change the settings and then we move toward the identity IAMS so what they offer at the moment Google IAMS identity and organization and then all the way down to managing resources roles cryptography keys labels privacy and the proxy side of it then you got some training uh, getting started, educated, and then you move toward the security around uh, the integration, cryptography, HSM, and then the proxy configuration app proxy. That will be around the all the home. If we move toward again, we're still on the left hand side. When we move toward the compute, you get the app engine, compute, you know, app engine, you will see the services, version, instance, rules, settings, and if we go to the VMs or the compute engine, we go to the VM instance, groups, disk, snapshot, images, zones, quotas, and security scanning. And you go to the Kubernetes or we go to the container side of it. You go to clustering, workload, application, storage, configuration. This is under the compute. If I move a little bit down toward the storage, you got the uh, big tables, file store, storage, SQL, spanners, memory store, and you know under each one of them you got options, dashboard, and you can see browsing and so on. Then we move toward the networking. We got the VPC, virtual path connection or networks, external IPs, firewall rules, uh, VPCs, shared, hybrid connectivity, network services, DNS and you got network security, cloud armors, and certificate. Then we move toward the stack drive, monitorings, debugging, tracing, loggings, error reporting. Then the last, or the, you know, uh, the tools before the big data, we go cloud build, container edge, source, deployment manager, endpoint, and then the last part we move toward big data, big queries, public subs, data proc, flow, internet of things, composer, and data prep, all the way down to the engines version, translation, and the Google machine learnings, and talent solutions. So this is on the left hand side. Now, what I will be showing you, I mean, uh, go back to the where we were before, click here, you can see the settings, Preferences, keyboard shortcut, you can download cloud partners and you get some project and you can try the interactive tutorial. So click on try interactive tutorials. This is really great. You know, you can get in, get yourself uh, familiar with most of the uh, Google uh, tools 
and you can see it on the right hand side uh, how cool they are yeah I need to start with for example drop down here you can see the coding like with Java Python and you got the PHP Ruby and so on same thing applied to the rest so pick and choose which one you want to make yourself familiar how you can build and how you can get educated now if you notice there's an activate cloud shell if I click on that one I get my cloud shell it is a free basically pre-installed with tools you need to for Google Cloud so I need that shell to be able to manage my Google Cloud session or you know uh, let's we call it a workplace similar to what Microsoft they offer with the PowerShell online against their AD, uh, Azure then we need the shell to manage our AWS instance or in this here scenario it's called Google Cloud shell for managing GCP okay again I'm gonna leave it for today but just to show you what is it okay you can say look real Linux environment configured for Google Cloud and you can see popular languages associated with it Python Java go and node.json or node.js and you go with the Google Cloud SDKs dockers text editors build tools and you can see view more so plenty of these are available plus we go the Linux Debian I can click on start now however I'm gonna cancel it and we'll do this one later on because we're gonna do deep dive sessions go back to where we were before click on browse solutions but I would like to see what options are available I can you can see on the left hand side plenty of these tools are available at the moment 526 but you can click on left marketplace just to show you what options are available and this is the marketplace for us and you can see all these categories based on cloud compute, DevOps tool, networking, monitoring, all the way down to compute and storage. Yeah. Then again on the left hand side what else do we have? We have billings and you can see they can navigate, you can see how much you are charged, I can you know, see here the budget, I have a uh, £236 which is $300 at the moment, I should be able to basically utilize it and you know you can see the info permission payment wise hopefully you're not going to see my credit card but i just like to show you sorry uh, uh, transactions and you can export it no payment at the moment and so on you can generate report and you can assign permission to it okay and so support overview cases what i have done what issues can I create case and or you can call support and you can community and you got settings as well and you can select and change depending on your requirement the last part i want to show you is the security side of it and to show you what is available again you can select security keys binaries so this is how what uh, at the moment what they offer us uh, google cloud or gcp what you see and you can see these categories uh, plenty of them from virtual machines cloud platforms 38 App surfaces 315, OS 48, and you can see view all for DevOps 107, networking 88, 95 for databases, De DevOps tools 197. It is very rich. You can see the last one is the blogs on CMS 99. Just a quick one before we move on. If we click on the virtual machines and you can see what they offer us at the moment, all the way from yeah, and you can see the OS based, okay. And this is what you will be seeing and playing with, okay. So filters, virtual machine category OS, free, paid, and you can see the free ones and the ones you're supposed to pay for. So if I click, take that one off. The paid one, of course, you're going to see the Microsoft one, Server 2016, SQL, CIS, Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft. You have to pay for these, plus some of the Linux one as well. Yeah. Again, back to the filters, take that one off, bring your own license, paid, free, OS. Take that one off. What else you want to see? Let's we see how this you go CRM. Yeah. Free, two, paid, 58. Okay, these are free one, open source. Or take it off and you see the paid one that include all the major ones major players around this area plus some of the supported open source okay 
Now, I think this is all that I had for you for today. You see, at the moment, I don't have any project. I uh, just want to give you high level and how the GCP look like in comparison to Microsoft Azure and AWS. Next, we will be doing some sessions around creating projects, utilizing the tools all the way down, sorry, all the way up from uh, application down to the, you know, we will do the storage, compute, networking, and work around the tools, and then we do machine learning. That's all what I had for you for today. Hopefully, uh, you know, it will attract you to work with the uh, GCP and play with GCP, and it is a great tool. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next session. Goodbye.